What's going on YouTube? Joel here from Toyota bringing you another video. Today we have a rare opportunity. We have two very beautiful SUVs. Grand Highlander Platinum and Platinum Max. In today's video, I want to show you some of the differences and similarities that you'll find in both vehicles. We'll refer to the red one as the Max and the black one as the Platinum. Now some of the visual differences here, you're going to find the grille on the Max is gray in color, while the Platinum is black. Now the slip down here on the Platinum is not as pronounced as it is on the Max. The wheels are very, very similar. The Platinum's just all chromed out. The Max will have this dual exhaust, as well as this finish for the back of lights. The Platinum, it kind of tucks it away. Now both will have front and rear sensors, as well as keyless entry on all four doors. It'll also have the 360 cameras, heads up display, panoramic sunroof, and the kick sensor as standard. Both models will be standard all-wheel drive. They'll have a 2.4 liter, four-cylinder turboed engine. 265 horsepower, 310 foot-pounds of torque on the Platinum. And 362 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds of torque on the Max. The Max will have a little bit better fuel economy. 26 city, 27 highway. The Platinum will be 20 city, 26 highway. Both of them are very good looking cars with tons of options. Now I'll show you some of the uh, differences in the interior. Platinum here will have the Portobello interior. That two tone does carry over throughout the entire vehicle. You'll notice that it does have full leather seat as well. Rear display heated and cooled seats, both in the front and rear. Wireless charger and this shifter. Now we will go into more detail on the Max. We'll move it to the side here and show you everything we can. Now starting from the back end, similar to the Platinum, you do have that power lift gate with the kick sensor. Quick little side note, it can be open even while it's running. The Max will come equipped with this JBL audio subwoofer, as well as an outlet. Great amount of space back here. Now, you'll notice that these are reclined a little further back. That's meant for maximum comfort in that third row. You can also lay down these seats completely flat as well, as well as that second row. Now coming in right here, do you have a little sunshade? You'll notice this one does have the suede interior only available in the Max. You can get it in the Limited or the Platinum. Now also easy access to the third row. We hit this lever here which is labeled as number one and number two and Technically three, but no number on there. Number two, if it's in this position here, we'll lower it down completely. And just one, you push it forward, and you do get that easy entry into the uh, third row. But tons of space back here. Very comfortable seating. USB-C ports on both sides. You also get this removable cup holder here, which you can store tablets as well. Up here at the very front, you can lift it up, you can take it out, clean it up, very, very easy. Heated and ventilated seats in the rear. You also have the climate controls there and the USB-C ports on both sides. Coming to the driver's side, this is what the uh, interior looks like here. You have the memory seating, power folding mirrors. A little bit better view of the seat itself. 
Now, not all of it is suede, just certain pieces. That gold trim running through it. You'll also see throughout the vehicle itself that that theme does follow through. You also have the heat steering wheel, different driving mode, and a really good sized compartment down here. Wireless charger for your cell phone. Heat and ventilated seats. Humongous display. Now to the elephant in the room. This is a pretty unique shifter. So you kind of want to always put it into neutral and then up for reverse and then down for drive, of course. Then park is just you select park. So to kind of show you what we're talking about is we'll go left, down, and that is drive. Right now, you'll also notice that the cameras didn't turn on. Which, if you hit this button here, you can, of course, set it for automatic in order for your front camera to activate once you're going under 10 miles an hour. Now, to set it in park, I know it's kind of hard to see right there, but that's in blue. Hit park, now we're back in park for reverse, neutral, then up. You kind of see it right there, kind of in red. That is reverse. Yeah, reverse camera there. Kind of see that trim there a little bit better. Oh, let me get it to focus. USB-C port on that side. Maybe we just zoom in here. You also get this really nice digital view view mirror. Turn it on or off. Home link. You can open and close your shades or the actual sunroof or the gate there, or oh, I'm sorry, the gate's over here on this other side. Gate's here, sorry. Now going over the steering wheel itself, kind of show you how to use it. So in the middle here, if you toggle through these arrows, you'll see that one, two, and three. You can actually change what you see on either side. So for example, right here, number three, we're gonna hold down the okay. So right now, say it's on map. Now, it doesn't show us the map because we're not subscribed yet. So say we leave it there in the adaptive cruise. Oh, we'll go back to three, sorry. Timed out there. So we can move it here. Say we don't want the tire pressure. We do whatever the case is there. You can switch them up. Let me select to the side. You can also... Add or subtract things that you can see on either side. And we'll hit back, then back again, and then we'll hit back one more time. And now we can toggle left or right, and you can set different ones if you want. Kind of a quick little access, if you will, like a, the next page on your cell phone, right? You could just move over to the side. Now, under settings, you do have a lot of different configurations. Now, if we hold down the OK, We'll go to your settings, hit the OK again, and then you control all your safety features here, which we have gone over in several of the videos there. You can see all the rest of them there on my page. So the HUD main here is for your heads up display. So you can actually control. So if we hold down the OK button there, we can go to brightness, we can adjust how bright it gets. Guess on camera you can't really see that. But maybe we can switch, say, up and down. There you are. And we'll click back. You can also see right here on the driving support. You can switch it up. So try to get it all at once. So that's under full. Say we go to minimal. It changes that up right there. Go back, we'll go to standard. Kind of a little difficult to see from this side, but you know, me seeing it here in person, it looks great. Now clicking out of that, going back. There's a lot of little sub features that you can turn on or adjust how sensitive they are. One of the vehicle settings, traffic jam assist, And 
I can go over each individual one if you want as well. I just kind of want to show you everything that's on here. Select back, back. Now, if y'all have specific questions on, you know, something that you saw in there that you want, you know, further information or don't, you want to know what it does and such, just put it in the comments below. I do try to respond to all of them when I can. The screen here does give us a lot better video than the one that we shot of the Sequoia. I do wish I had two cell phones so I can show you how to Bluetooth your phone fairly easily, whether it be Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. We'll kind of go through the motion there. You go to your settings, you scroll down right here to the Bluetooth and devices, simply click search there, find your vehicle, and from there it's pretty, pretty simple overall. Now going back to your settings, you do have a lot of sub menus here. What I always show, of course, is for your door control. Switch it up to all doors versus just your driver door. Your trips. Phone. Again, you can Bluetooth two phones at once, which is just awesome. Your radio, pretty simple to use overall. Has preloaded favorites on most of them. So you can toggle between FM, AM, XM radios. So for example, we'll go right here to the 80s. All your favorite stations there. You can hit this edit, take them off if you don't like them. Or say we go to the next station here, the 90s. We do like it, ends up right here. So whenever we go right here, it's gonna to toggle through all your favorite stations instead of going through each individual one. You can also stream Apple Music as well as Amazon Music. You do get that free for a year in the Platinums. And I can go over all the actual subscriptions when it comes to Remote Connect and everything else on this car at a later time. Or if you'd like, you can ask it in the comments and I'll go ahead and put it in there for you. Now, I do hope that this video has given you a little bit more insight of the Grand Highlander. Go over it. Just one more time on the interior. Any questions, feel free to comment below. Have a great one. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one.